Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me on an absolutely grim day, but to be honest, that doesn't really matter right now because we found ourselves on the 17th floor of a completely empty car park. So that is ideal. We've also got a pretty nice view over there, but we're not all here for that. We're here for this. This is a stage two 352 brake Audi S1, a car which I have never ever experienced. Now, those of you who have been subscribed to the channel for an awfully long time, I'm talking like maybe four years or so, you may remember I owned an Audi A1, of course, drastically different to what this car is, but it does kind of give me some, um, some like almost deja vu throwback memories because I mean, that was the last time I've ever been in kind of the one platform, I suppose you could say. Um, but yeah, this thing looks like an absolute beast. Like I said, it's running stage two. Um, it's manual as well, like all S1s. So we've got 350 brake going through a manual gearbox. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, especially with the downpours that we're having today outside. So what I'll do, I'll introduce you to the owner, Ryan. We'll have a run around it before going out and tackling this monsoon weather that we got today. Okay, so we're now joined with Ryan, the owner of the car. Thank you very much for braving the weather with me today and uh, well, coming out and showing me this. So we've got the bonnet up first because that's kind of where most of the work has been done. So if you wouldn't mind, uh, give us a quick run through. Uh, starting at the front, uh, it's just Forge Motorsport stage two intercooler. Go into that, Forge Motorsport intake pipes, a Ram air filter with Forge Motorsport intake hose, diverter plus valve. I think that's the main power mods in the bonnet. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, what kind of power are we looking at? Uh, 352 brake horsepower, yep. 402 newton meters of torque. Decent from a stage After two. That, because, uh, just to save the clutch, because it's only rated 407. Yeah, okay. And you've upgraded the clutch anyway, haven't you? Yeah, to uh, sash performance clutch, yeah. Yeah, I suppose you've got to, haven't you? Yeah, you've got to, always <laughs> a ghost stock, yeah. They, they go on stock yeah, power, don't they? Yeah, they go stock anyway, so I don't want to chance it and then yeah. ruin wrecking more. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. Brilliant, but I love the gold heat shield on there. Yeah, well, I love that. That looks very, very cool. And the most important thing under here is that sticker. Yeah. Go fast bits. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Brilliant. So obviously not only has but there been quite substantial work to the engine, there's also some other little bits you've done, exhaust, yeah, wheels. Yeah, visual mods and stuff like that as well. Uh, it's just a Miltech downpipe, uh, custom three inch system through the middle mm -hmm. to stop back box to keep the valves just yes. thrown. Yeah. And then just some uh, 3.7 inch custom tips in the back as well. Awesome. Just That's a little round ones. Because it's got four exhausts from standard anyway, but they're like a bit like the Golf 5 in the sense that they're like. No, I'm not really oval a fan tips. of the oval tips from standard. Oh, yeah. Plus, it feels the fuser holes a bit better as well. Sweet. So, you, that's all just stock back box, just yeah, for different just tips. Yeah, stock back box completely. Just stop the drone. Yeah. It is a good looking car, you know, and I think, yeah. like I said to you off camera, they're so underrated, I think, yeah. in I the think sense I you just don't see them. I'm to the three door. Yeah. Get a bit more space. A bit more practical. Yeah. So like that. Is what I think, but. Yeah, I love the wheels as well. Yeah. OZ they Ultra are, Ligeras? OZ Racing Ultra Ligeras yep. in crystal titanium. They uh, really pop, don't they? Yeah, that's really what I want. Pop. Try and match the titanium on the wind mirrors. Yes, that's true. Yeah, because you've still got the OEM. But yep. well, they're almost like, it's like satin chrome almost, yeah, aren't they? I think, it's a, I think it's a sort of, just a bit of a brushed effect as well. Yeah, yeah. No, that matches that. And then some pretty Larry brake calipers as well. Yeah, they are reflect it, reflective 3M wrapped by DZ Customs in Should we see if we can, uh, London. Get a torch so, on it and have a look, because yeah. we're in quite a dark car park. So, so, so we'll maybe can... show you that side when the... Yeah. You can't... They do glow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's coming across on camera. Yeah. Well, actually, some pretty hefty brakes in there as well. Yeah, they are EBC yellow stuff, grooved and vented discs yep. with yellow stuff pads. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. It is a really cool looking car. Yeah. Really cool looking car. It's lowered I, I, on IBAC springs with, I think it's 12, 12.5 more spaces on the front. Yep. To give it that wide look and 15 on the back. Yeah, it does sit nice. There's a slight it? rub on full lock, but yeah. nothing you really care about. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got a full TRC kit, I noticed yeah, as well. Full TRC low line kit with uh, triple R composites, RS grille. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, that's true. Actually, that, I imagine that made a big difference when you did that. Yeah, mainly visual. Yeah, I was keeping the silver as well mm -hmm. to match in with the the wheels and the wind mirrors. Yeah, 
uh, chameleon windscreen tint, but you can't really see it on the inside. Yeah, you can see it a little bit back there. We'll probably get that uh, get on the outside better shot, when we get outside, yeah. But I think that's pretty much it, I think, isn't it? Yes. Other than that, it's pretty much stock, yeah, stock seats, mods, yeah. stock turbo as well. Yeah. Um, well that would be stage three if you were to yeah, do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do that, yeah. I mean, but I want to keep a bit of an OEM look. I don't want to yeah. change too much. No, it does look good. Yeah. Really, really good. OEM plus look is. Thing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, like I said, we have a horrendous day for weather today, as you can see out here. Um, absolutely horrendous. So we've been sheltering in here, but I think what we'll do, we'll get the bonnet down. Actually, you can see those calipers now. Look at that. Awesome. Yeah, we'll get the uh, bonnet down, get it outside, and uh, well, like I said, brave this weather and see what this thing is like out on the road. <laughs> Mate, that shifts, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks like a downshift. It does sound nice. Yeah. Can get them louder. Yeah. Put that window down. That's the best one. That's where it's probably an echo. <laughs> That's loud, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The beautiful about this is obviously it limits it now. You've got traction control limited, mm. probably won't spin still in that, and then if you hold it down for 10 seconds it goes fully off. Okay. But that's just a bit too dangerous. Yeah. That, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you obviously you bought this car completely stopped. Yeah, completely did, stopped. Did you, did, am I right in saying you went stage one first before yeah, stage two? Yeah, stage one first, and then uh, the only thing he said that was lacking me back was um, in the cooler. Okay. So I just saved up a little bit, managed yep. to sort one out for that, and then went back. Uh, back down to Cornwall, b mm -hmm. tuning. Mm -hmm. Just went for the weekend and got it done there again then. Yeah. Didn't get much of a difference, but it's running much cooler now. Obviously yeah. Much more better on the engine. That's it, yeah. More reliable. But yeah, a little bit more torque it was. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I can feel in the acceleration mainly. Yeah, but so did you say 407? 402. 402. The clutch is going to take 407, so. Oh, okay. But it's quite yeah. yeah, I'm launching yeah. it seems to be safe enough, but um, yeah, I don't want to Just, be Yeah, it can't go anymore. No. Yeah. I suppose if this is like the line you're drawing it at, there's no yeah, point yeah. in going for like this mega clutch, no, which no. is capable of a million very horsepower. No. I don't fancy spending another couple of grand on a new turbo and that. Yeah, so obviously it's still running a stock turbo yeah, and everything. Yeah. I mean, from that acceleration back there, it's yeah, still it no slouch. I'm kind of used to it now. I think it's. Per I, I personally think it's slow. I want to get more, but. Mm. I suppose when when you drive the car, yeah, when it's your it own does, car, it does feel a lot more safe when you're driving the car because you've got control of it. Yeah. I suppose if you're in the passenger seat of a car, it always feels, yeah, it always faster, feels faster because you're not in control, control of it. it yeah. yeah. No, it's definitely very, very quick. And I've, like I said, I've never experienced one. The only yeah. real like mini Audi, I'm going to say, or like the A1 S1 yep. series, is my previous car, the A1, which yeah. is a little 1.4 litre, 122 brake, little yeah. <laughs> hatchback. He's, <laughs> so, he's a 228 stock. Yeah. And it wasn't too bad then. So you're running pretty substantial yeah. amounts of power more. Over 100 brake, which yeah, I suppose is the standard kind of stage like too. The first time I got it tuned. The torque is right there. Yeah, right there. it's just instant. Oh, I love the shifts. It's properly rapid, yeah. you know. It's so fast for a little car. It shifts, and it's certainly not struggling in, no. in these weather no. conditions either. I think it's 5.6 seconds stop mm. for 60. That's decent but stop, anyway. Yeah, that's 228 brake horsepower. Yeah, so you're definitely in the fours. Yeah, it must be. Yeah. It must be maybe 4.8, something. Mm. 
obviously it's just hard to get the launch right when it's a manual. That's it, yeah. Keep practicing it, then I don't want to mess the clutch up, so. Yeah, of course. I mean, in this kind of environment, this is where this car really yeah. comes into its own, isn't it? <laughs> Hefty short shift that you got there as well. Yeah. You're still uh, trying to get used to it. Yeah, I'm not sure what the make now, I can't remember. Yeah. I know it's from Germany though, it's about two weeks to come. Oh, okay, yeah. But, yeah, it was easy to fit 15, 20 minutes, but. Okay. Yeah, it's very easy. I'm very, very um, hard to get used to, but. Mm. It definitely makes it easier shifting, but. Yeah, because it's just, just, just there, isn't it? your mind. doesn't think it's right in, though. I mean, looking at the gear stick now, it, does, yeah, it looks like it's it looks in like neutral. It's neutral, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised about the amount of poke it's got, you know? Yeah. Because it's so light in comparison to the bigger hot hatches, yeah. I think, say. I, it, think, I think the exact match to it is probably the VW Golf, but the Mark 7s. Yeah. I think they're 235 on the red edition ones are. Mm. But, yeah, they have the same clutch problem they do as well. Yes, they do. And the S3 manuals. Oh. It's strange as how they are just so weak. Yeah. Which, Especially when it goes stock, if you just keep exactly, like, ragging it, ragging it. Would, I mean, if you're on a stock clutch with this power, it would make sense if it were to go. Yeah. But even on stock power, they go. Yeah. I didn't want to chance Unusual. it. I just thought best to get it done. Just, did you get that done before yeah. any of the get power? It, get it done, bend yeah. it about 600 miles in, mm -hmm. then take it easy, and I got a mat to about 1100 miles. Yeah. Just to make sure it's perfectly fine. Was that just the stage one then? Or That's was just that? stage one, yeah. yeah. Some people risk it, going mm. about 310 brake horsepower, but. Mm. So if it goes on the dyno, I heard it causes a lot of damage. Yeah, so I can imagine, it's yeah. Worth it. And what's it gonna take out whilst it goes? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so seeing as the weather is increasingly getting, well, even worse than it already was, I think we're gonna have to cut the video short. So unfortunately, no drive-bys or anything, because there's no way I'm standing out there uh, waiting for the car to come past. But anyway, Ryan, thank you very much for, for braving the weather and uh, showing me the car. It's, I actually really, really like it because I, I loved my A1. So of course I was gonna enjoy a more powerful version of that, but yeah, no, it's absolutely rapid, especially in, in conditions like this. As always with these kind of videos, I will leave Ryan's Instagram link down in the description and down below, but that is gonna wrap things up for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.